Did Erica Girardi in an old interview admit to being a smart crook? Not just a smart crook, a rich crook? Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. I know what you're thinking. There cannot possibly, possibly be another story about Erica Jane Girardi. Yes, there is. And I'm actually literally sitting on three other ones. But we will get to them at another time. This story I thought was interesting because people are digging up old stories. And some of you have tagged me in old footage from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills about Erica Jane Girardi. And I think I almost forgot how much Erica Jane flaunted her wealth on the show. And I'm not sure if that's intentional. A lot of us have conspiracy theories on Erica Jane's behavior and some of Tom Girardi's behavior to get her on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, allegedly. But now another story just came out a few, it was last week, that involved Dish Nation and an interview. As you know, Erica Girardi had a book which a lot of people are breaking down and examining some of the things that she's saying in there, including Ronald Richards. And she was promoting the Pretty Mess book on Dish Nation and had this very interesting conversation with the interviewer. Let's get into those details. So this was back in 2018. Erica made an appearance, as I said, on Dish Nation to promote her book, The Pretty Mess. Now we're calling her The Pretty Legal Mess. The co-host, Frank Kramer, asked her if she had ever been arrested. And Erica responded, no, but I should have been, maybe. She continued by saying, I've never been arrested. I've never been in custody, ever. So of course the conversation continued when the host jokingly suggested that they get arrested together. Erica's response was, oh, interesting. <laughs> this is what she said. Listen, you're a bad crook if, you're, if you get arrested. I'm a good crook. I'm not a bad crook. I'm a smart one. And then the interviewer responded, good crook is the name of her next book. Rich crook, not good crook, rich crook. Hindsight is 2020. All of this stuff, all of this behavior, some of the things that she said, if you look at some of the gifts that I post in some of my videos of Erica Jane Girardi and her flaunting her wealth, it's like, first of all, even if she didn't allegedly or Tom didn't allegedly steal it from victims or other people, it would still be like, why, why, did, why is she still on the show? I don't get it. Why, why do we celebrate someone like this that flaunted her wealth the way that she did? Not sure. But I will say this, Erica, when she first came on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I was like, huh, I think I might like this person. But as you know, we've said multiple times, Erica has brought nothing after season one. Yes, she's bringing a lot this season, but not off the backs of victims. Sorry, we could have done better with getting other storylines and, and doing something else. I don't get joy from reporting on this story. It's a part of pop culture. And as you know, there are several different stories that we, we, we talk about this week alone, covering the Wendy Williams story, covering the Aaliyah story. It's not fun to report on these stories. It might be fun for some other people. It's not fun for me. And my thing, especially when it comes to this Erica Jane Girardi story is like, are we really going to get justice and money for the victims? You also may recall during the season, they played a game that Kathy Hilton really failed, <laughs> where you had to tell two truths and one lie. And Erica Jane's truths, I don't even know she told a lie. And she sort of backpedaled in, in her response. And if I can recall, some of the things that she said, she wore a wire for the feds. I can't remember the other ones, but you guys will remind me in in the in in the, the comment section. But all of that, everyone is looking at, and it's like this entire time it's been in plain sight. It's been in plain sight their behavior, as Bethany just said in her podcast. People in California, the legal circles in California, and I honestly believe it wasn't just the legal circles. Tom was a generous donor to political parties, to politicians. Gavin Newsom, 
I'm happy he won his recall, but we're still looking at you. You're still getting the heat. Admitted on Watch What Happens Live, Tom donating to his campaign. And a lot of people are saying, why don't some of these people get back the money? That that's all remains to be remains to be seen. You also may recall in our exclusive with Ronald Richards, he revealed that his job is to focus on Erica. It's nothing else. So the rich, good crook that she admitted to be in this. And I know what you all are going to say. She was being facetious. But you know what they say. There's a little truth in every joke. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this breakthrough tidbit that keeps coming up every day. Another story, another Erica Jane Girardi story. We will continue to follow. As I said before, there is more coming. There's more coming. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.